Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make this in Canva so that it comes out to be a full sheet and um, because I already recorded how to actually glue these together. Um, but I wanted to show you this because this is how I think about when I'm going to measure. So you know that the photo paper is eight and a half by 11 inches. And the reason why I use Canva instead of design space for this project is because I want to use the whole eight and a half by 11 inch paper. And if we use design space to do print and cut, we are limited to 6.75 by 9.25 inches. So you end up losing quite a bit of the photo paper. So in my head, what I'm thinking is, you know, it's um, eight and a half inches wide, right? So if you look at this and let me pull out a ruler and then we're going to switch to Canva in a second. But I wanted to show you this so that you can kind of see what I was thinking. So for me, eight inches and let me bring this up so you can kind of see where eight inches is. So eight inches is from this blue line to well, eight and a half inches is to here, right? So if you look at this and you flip it over, that should fit, you know, one whole piece, right? Same thing with the Ghirardelli square. Like if you flip this over, right? So for eight and a half inches, I can fit all these small little pieces, right? So I could do another Ghirardelli square. So you see, I did three. This is all three were from the same eight and a half by 11 inch paper. Now, so we know that eight and a half inches is good for the width, right? So the way I was, <clears throat> excuse me, the way I was thinking about this is, okay, let me see where you are. Okay, so 11 inches is from, let me put this down so we can see, is from here to here, okay? So if you put down this here and this here, you could probably fit, and I did another Ghirardelli square, which I am out of them right now, but if you think about it, it would be here, and it would you, you wanna make sure that you're not squeezing everything in. Like if this ends right here, you don't wanna stack this one right here. You wanna give yourself enough room to glue it down, because if you remember, this is photo paper. The fo photo paper is thick, um, it needs room to kind of like um, flatten out so that you can glue it together, okay? So like, you see, and then you can stick it through the um, through the crimper and get the, the ridges at the end, okay? So for an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, we are able to do three of these things. So what it ended up being was one fruit snack and two Ghirardelli squares, okay? All right, I'm gonna flip this screen so I can show you how to do it in Canva. It's super, super easy. And give me one second. All right, here we go. Let me make this smaller. All right, so this is the one that we ended with. Um, and you can see what I did was, you know, it's eight and a half by 11. So I knew the eight and a half, it was, this was going to be front, this is going to be back. And we know we're going to kind of fold it in the middle, give it some room on the side so that we can glue it, give some um, space in the top and the bottom so that it gets flat. I mean, just think about, this is a Ghirardelli square. This is the Ghirardelli square. <laughs> so to make it easy on yourself, you really need to give yourself a lot of room. Um, this is just not the kind of project where you try to be like the most efficient. The most efficient is the fact that we're using Canva instead of design space. <laughs> okay, so let me show you how to start this thing. Okay, now let me, uh, let's go to home. And I love Canva. Canva reminds me of design space, but even easier to use. So what you wanna do is you wanna create, or you can do, no, I always go to create a design. And I'm gonna do custom size, and I'm gonna enter in eight. Oh, before I do that, change your units to inches. Okay, and I'm gonna do eight and a half by 11 inches. So that way my paper is already sized to eight and a half by 11. Um, the eight and a half by 11 is also one chip bag, like the mini snack size chip bags. Each photo paper is one chip bag. So this one, we're doing three of these small little guys that we can fit on here. So what I like to do is I'm going to go to elements. Elements is kind of like 
the design space image library. So you can see my recently used are up here, but I'm gonna search Valentine's just so that you can see how I found it. And you know, I scrolled down a bit. Let me see if I can find all the ones that I used. Um, there's a, so many cute images. What you don't want are these moving ones because we're printing them, so we need a, a still image. Um, ooh, I must have scrolled down quite a bit <laughs> before I found my first one. Let's see. I'm still scrolling. I know I thought about using these tickets. Where did it go? All the ones that I used. I may have passed it already. All right, the envelopes are cute. So I'm gonna click on the envelopes and what will happen is it'll pop over here. Now, remember, you we're trying to divide it into three rows, right? So make, so when you start to move this in, your height is 2.3 by three inches. So when we're doing 11 inches, three inches times three is nine, right? So that's good because that'll give, you actually want it to be even a little bit smaller because you want some space from the top and the bottom for each one of them, right? So let's just put that there. We can resize it in a little bit. Let's see what else we like. Um, man, where are all my images that I use? So funny. I'm still searching, all right. I really wanted to do the candy hearts like this, but okay, I'm going back up to the top. I'm gonna search Valentine. I don't know that, oh, okay. So here's something similar to the one I used. So I did a heart over here, let's make it smaller. And so what you wanna do is, you're basically looking at this um, four and a quarter inch line right here that's where it's gonna fold, right? So you, it folds at that middle part. So your front image over here, you kinda want it like right in the middle. You want this one kinda in the middle and that's gonna be your first one, okay? Let's do this bear. I'm just picking things just, just so that we can, you can see what I'm talking about. And then I'll do a colored background. Um, oops, I did I love you already. I'll do, oh, here we go, kiss me. These are so cute. All right, I'm gonna get rid of this one. Okay, so we're gonna resize this so that on here you have enough room for three, three items. This middle one I'll keep a little bit bigger, okay? Oh, how cute is this? I love that. Okay, I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter. So you can kind of see, I'm thinking like it's going to be, you know, taped at the edges. So you don't want it right on the edge, right? Let's look to see. There's a few other cute ones. Um, oh, I kind of like that one. I'm going to get rid of this. I love you. Cause we already have an, I love you. Okay. And then when you click on the whole paper, you can change the color of that. So I'm going to change that to some, um, This one needs to be a different color. So that one we can change. So we can change this darker one to like a, so that's that. So you can see, you can start to customize all these different ones. Um, so it's gonna be a blue kiss me. All right, so this looks, Good, this one's a little bit kind of long for me, so I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. You can add text to it, but in your head, like when you're designing, you wanna split this 11 inches up into kind of three equal parts. If you know one of them is gonna be bigger because it's going to be like this one compared to a Ghirardelli square, then you can give yourself more room by moving this up or making it a little bit smaller and maybe making this middle one a little bit, you know, like more room. And so you'll cut this more like this. 
Um, with Canva, I feel like it's very similar to Design Space where you can add text. So you can select the stuff down here that you see, like if you really like the way, um, I don't know, like the way this one's looking. And you, you can click on it. And I'm gonna change this to Anne. <laughs> I'm gonna do, okay. And then you can just make this really small. Right, and that and you can change your color here. So you can kind of see like there's so many design elements that you can do to personalize this. Just like Design Space, you can add I love you, whatever you want to write on here. Um, people have done, you know, on the back side, they'll put the actual like calorie content and all of that. Um, I just opted for Valentine's Day stuff on both sides just because it looks so cute. But as soon as you put down a name, it's so personalized and people don't see it that often. So they really, really like it. Like it looks so customized, right? Customized and maybe you went and bought it somewhere. Like it's not something that you could just buy in the store. So I absolutely love that you can put pictures on here. Let me go to uploads and show you like how easy it is to bring in a picture. So I'm going live tonight with Abby from Sassy Renita Crafts. So this, I just took a screenshot, right, from her Instagram. It's so easy, you're gonna go to edit image and I'm going to remove the background. So I'm gonna get rid of the white and I'll change it, you know, for this one because I, I haven't liked this envelope. <laughs> and you can see we can make her a little craft right here. Right, we could put that on there. We can put her name. So let me put Abby. Let's go back to text and do some cutesy little thing like this one. So you just double click on it. It gets you over here and I'm gonna type Abby. Oops, you know what? That's okay. I'm gonna type over. Oh, what's going on here? I'm gonna delete that. What is going on? Oh, there. Is that over? You know, when the computer starts to slow down, it is not good. All right, let me see. Ah! This was a bad example. Let me see if I can get rid of it and start over on that. See, it's not, it's not, it's slowing down. I don't know what's going on right now. Okay, here we go. Let's try it again. Okay. And so you can, this is grouped with something else, right? Because you see ungroup is an option. Very, very similar to Design Space. So I'm gonna ungroup it, get rid of this other piece. I'm gonna add this piece up here, make it much smaller. And I can make this for our thing later on today. I won't say I love you. <laughs> Um, but I might do, let's do, let's go back to elements and you can see it's just so fun. There's so many things that you can add on here. Um, let me see. Oh, you can add this little banner. So I'm going to do this banner kind of like up and across right over her thing. It's so cute. Maybe we can put it down here. I kind of like the name. I mean, there's just so many things you can do. So you can make it, oops, to make sure that everything stays on here and it doesn't get folded. You can do something like this, right? And once it prints, it'll be much bigger because just think about that first one is this is how big it is. Um, 
So once you finalize your design, and just remember again, I kind of cut this in half in my head. There's a mentally there's a line coming down at about four and a quarter because that would give me four and a quarter, four and a quarter is eight and a half, right? So that's kind of the line that's gonna be in the middle. So I in the, in my head, this line is right here. That's gonna separate the front from the back because it's gonna curve over and then I'm gonna glue it on the sides. So you sort of want everything around it to have some space and to make it easy because this, um, you know, we're bypassing the Cricut. So I just used my paper cutter and did three cuts across and that was it. And then you have your personalized little treats. Um, all right, hopefully that was helpful. I do love Canva quite a bit. All you do at this point is I download it and it's gonna come down over here. Ooh, you gotta pick which one, right? So um, I go with the high quality image because I'm doing the glossy paper, I'm doing the glossy photo paper. It's really nice. So I'm gonna use PNG and download. So it's gonna um, download onto your computer. And then what you wanna do is you wanna open it and then go to print it. Oops, what happened? Okay, so open the right one. All right, then you're gonna go to print. You wanna select the right settings, okay, on the right paper so that you get that nice glossy print, like the high print, and make it look really pretty. Um, my default's to landscape for some reason. Just make sure that when you're in here that you select the right one. For this project, it is portrait so that we could use the whole sheet of paper and you can see that. I'm gonna do rear feed because it's the glossy paper. My printer makes it difficult. So there you have it, eight and a half by 11. I want glossy paper and I'm gonna print. I do full page, fill page, because I want it all the way to the edge, this purple, and then I'm gonna click print. And then when you have it, you'll pick up the tutorial on when we piece this together. All right, I will see you guys next time. Let me know what else you wanna see. If you want more Canva tutorials, um, you know, I'm not a big design person, so it has to be simple for me to use it. And yeah, so there you have it. All right, I'll talk to you guys later, bye.